eating healthy things for yourself that you know you can take control of, okay, with that health card. What else for Virgo? <laughs> We've got the Ten of Cups. Wow, abundance is pouring into your life here. I'm seeing like, you know, friends as family, commitments, a family for some of you guys. I mean, just really feeling um, great contentment in your love life or just great contentment in a situation where we feel like we belong, okay? Happy home, happy family, or just um, really just having some uh, a time of really um, knowing where you belong and who you belong with for some of you guys. Um, I feel that there may have been going something going on for some of you guys where we're having some type of family <laughs> drama possibly or feud for some of you guys. Um, and I'm seeing some great healing taking place. Just have patience. Some of you remember you're too enmeshed in the situation. Um, so take, take a step back. Let's get a little bit more too with this. Um, Ten of Cups. Oh, I just had a pause for a second. So this is really interesting. This card just fell over. Some of you guys, um, it says let's start over, and we had that Ten of Cups. Um, I was getting something about communication, maybe some honesty here for some of you guys. Um, it could challenge you, Virgo, because I'm seeing something where we've been hurt here, but somebody wants to start over, so, you know, this just coming out, it came out randomly. You know what? You don't always get what you want. I mean, you got what you wanted in the past. That didn't get you very far, did it? You don't want that anymore, do you? No, I get what you want. It's not my fucking thing. Here, let's just leave it out, though. I want a little bit more with the Ten of Cups here. <laughs> Give us a little bit more about this Ten of Cups for Virgo. And for some of you Virgos right now, it's like, you know, nurture the family, the friends, or the people that you do love and trust right now and allow that to be the your PowerPoint, okay? And I do see a lot of you Virgos manifesting a very um, a good ha a home life for yourself as well. Okay. Trust in the magic. You guys really are on. By myself. Thank you. On your way to a happy life, um, sustaining some type of um, contentment with yourself and others. I'm seeing um, friends here that are like a family, so it's just really cute. But anyhow, Spirit is saying, trust in the magic, okay? Because I know a lot of you Virgos, there's just something going on here where a lot of you guys have been tested um, <laughs> to believe in the unseen. And maybe some things and things have um, happened right now that hasn't been so magical now, have it but you guys need to trust in magic because oh yeah because it's happening in your life and whatever you guys want when it comes to happiness success i mean come on virgo i'm seeing it happening here for you okay you're being shown the way a lot of you guys are being shown the way right now there may be some hesit hesitancy, uh, some hesitancy, <laughs> I can't even say, I can't even speak this morning, anyhow, some of you guys might be feeling challenged to, you know, um, keep moving forward to find these things that are helping you heal your heart, but nonetheless, you guys are making progress here, okay, so let's see, what else for Virgo? Oh, see, Virgo, there is something about you guys and um, little ones or children, younger souls, whatever it is. You guys are good at helping, counseling, healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Some of you Virgos, there may be something going on here. For I'm going to talk just to the ones that have... Um, not all of you Virgos, but the ones that maybe have par uh, the ones that are parents here, there could be uh, more um, emphasis and priority on your younger ones right now too. So um, let that be your focus um, to help you guys get out of the past or worrying about the future too much. Now, some of you guys, you've got this calling here. There's something going on with you guys not doubting your abilities to help inspire, heal um, those that need it. Okay, you do have this Empress energy that's going on about you, Virgo. 
And so with that, it's like, you know, allow others to come to you. What else? Oh my gosh, I just flipped over a bunch of those cards. So we'll take, we're going to take out the tiger and the peacock. Um, and also, there's a message right here too. This is a good time to go on a new adventure. <laughs> Let's see what else for you. We were just talking about you guys being called upon something that's greater here, a purpose, and um, the tiger energy just fell right out. You're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you are capable of doing so. We were just talking. Since they hid their net for me without cause and without cause dug a pit for me, may ruin overtake them by surprise. May the net they hid entangle them, may they fall into the pit to their ruin. Then my soul will rejoice in the Lord and delight in his salvation. My whole being will explain, who is like you, Lord? Uh, the name Michael, actually means like God. Anyway, uh, you rescue the poor from those too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who rob them. Ruthless witnesses come forward. They question me on things I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good and leave me like one bereaved. Yet when they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When their prayers returned to me unanswered, I went about mourning as though for my friend or brother. I bowed my head in grief as though weeping for my mother. But when I stumbled, they gathered in glee. Assailants gathered against me without my knowledge. They slandered me without seizing. Like the ungodly, they malice mocked. They gnashed their teeth at me. How long, Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their ravages. My precious life from these lions. I will give you thanks to the great assembly among the throngs. I will praise you. Do not let those gloat over me who are my enemies without cause. Do not let those who hate me without reason maliciously wink the eye. They do not speak peace peaceably, but devise false accusations against those who live quietly in the land. They sneer at me and say, aha, aha, with their own eyes, we have seen it. Lord, you have seen this. Do not be silent. Do not be far from me, Lord. Awake and rise to my defense. Contend for me, my God and Lord. Vindicate me with your righteousness, Lord, my God. I do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them think just what we wanted or say, we have swallowed him up. May all who gloat over my distress be put to shame and confusion and be named Tiffany. Uh, may all who exalt themselves over me be clothed in shame and disgrace. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, Lord, be exalted who delights in the well-being of his servant. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness, your praises all day long. And uh, people like Tiffany can uh, fucking suck dicks. Talking about that with that environmentalism and the guiding children here. So, yes, you guys, you're being called upon leadership. So don't be afraid to really strike out and claim some power within you that really wants to be claimed here. Okay? Give it some time. You guys are gonna you guys are summoning some type of great power within you. Let's see what this is. Peace. There's no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. Beautifully. Okay. Look at the Ten of Cups. Beautifully. Trust in magic. It's working out beautifully. Let yourself uh, stand out and be noticed, um, Virgo. So look at that, uh, the Sun card energy. <clears throat> Um, and for some of you guys, now the seagull is just showing itself too. Um, just make sure you are taking that time for deep emotional healing. Some of you guys need to say no to things right now to, in order to take care of yourself and your health. Your you got it. No problem. Fuck you. Emotional, your physical, and your mental well-being. Okay? It's going to be worth it. Um, a lot of you guys, you've gone through a tremendous amount of changes here. Spirit wants you guys to really be proud and allow your work or yourself to stand out. Have confidence right now, no matter what. And I feel maybe some of you guys, you are starting to feel this, okay? Allow something to be exposed when it comes to um, yourself and having things be positive, okay? And then we have this emu. Now is the time to go on a um, <laughs> go on a new adventure here. Okay, so trust in the magic. We've got something about you guys maybe finding a new way or seeing something that you didn't see before. 
Let's see, what else for Virgo? We just, we were just uh, talking about that. Uh, so it is just more confirmation here. Look at your spirit guides surrounding you as you guys take some time to heal and meditate. Some of you just put the swords down right now. It's like, you know, some, you know, there could be something going on here too with someone that's at a distance, but um, it's time for, it's time for great healing. It's time for some of you guys just to get that rest you need because look at this. We have the three of swords and then we have the four, four of swords. So yes, you're coming out of this hard break some of you guys you just need a little bit of rest right now um and this is this is really important for you virgo because this is where you guys are receiving not only uh you know rest and recuperation here but you're getting messages from the divine you're getting messages from your ancestral guides right now your animal guides your spirit guides okay to help you um with the next move right now the next move is taking care of yourself and so some of you i'm seeing boundaries here too right we put the swords here and this person is saying no i need my space okay so some of you guys maybe you got a lot of animals or a lot of things remember there's something some of you guys just listen your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters that's okay we need to know our balance so some of you i'm seeing those swords you want to see something funny? I have something funny for a random viewer. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny. It's, it's pretty swell and uh not from uh not trying of course that's not what i'm saying here uh <sighs> that's my tribe joseph Ones who are not defiled with women. You see, other people fucking cock blocking me saved me. Thank you very much. Be 
being put down to kind of mark a territory. Like, I need my space. I need to decompress. I need to sleep. I need to take care of myself. I need to meditate. Okay. What else for Virgo? We've got air sign coming through. Basically, since someone, you know, chose all these other cocksuckers uh, who uh, were there to cock block me, cock blocked me. And uh, since, you know, I, uh, I've celibate, been celibate for years because of, you know, people cock blocking me. Not from like choosing, oh, I, I, I refrain from saying, no, I like to fuck. I would like to fuck someone's brains out, but there's always people who cock block me. And uh, a certain somebody chose other people over me each fucking time. And uh, that's why I'm 888 of the Joshua tribe. And you're condemned to the tribulation. All right, bye.